If you're a person who doesn't process emotions, can you still create poltergeist energy? I actually don't utilize the language of poltergeist energy, but in theory, poltergeist energy is energy that you give off that then kind of creates manifestations of things moving in the home or not. That's the, the general idea of poltergeist. So the question that this person is asking is, if you are a person who doesn't naturally experience a lot of emotions because you have a lack of emotions or a lack of empathy, does it still create electromagnetic energy that can be felt in a space? Yes, of course it does. Let's back that up for just a moment. When you have a lack of emotional frequency that you can feel either through trauma or through some kind of event that has happened in your life, that's one thing. There are also individuals who don't have a lot of emotional autonomy. They don't experience emotions in the same way we would diagnose that as someone who is maybe uh, has low social cues or something like that. But again, you can still create energy around you because of action. And the action of something can still create an amalgam of energy that is still felt in the space after you leave.